The man in that bag leaves this grave site as John Doe, but he will soon undergo testing to reveal his true identity. Police believe the unidentified man is Antonio Marino, an El Salvadorian immigrant who died living on the streets of North Las Vegas in March of 1997. Police never confirmed his identity, but they did find the perpetrator. We did make an arrest in 97. Uh, he gave a full confession and he was sent to prison. But he was released on parole. Retired Metro homicide detective Roy Chandler, who investigated this case, said learning the identity of a missing person can be a blessing and a curse for a victim's family. It'll open up a whole new realm of questions that the family has got. And that's the unfortunate thing. They, they were asking themselves before, uh, you know, whatever happened to, to my brother, whatever happened to my son, and now they'll be able to know what, what happened and when it happened. This case is only the beginning. Last month, the coroner's office received a $400,000 federal grant to exhume and test 50 unidentified bodies over the next 18 months. The, the goal here is to apply that money to as many cases as we can, to learn from each case. Hopefully, as we do it, we'll get even better. If this is indeed Antonio Marino, the coroner will contact his family in El Salvador to have his body transported back home.